I'm very tempted to go in here and buy me a brand new Ducati motorcycle, man. Check it out. Oh my God. Look at them beautiful motorcycles. Look at that. That brand new 2025 Panigale is a beast. The reason why I bought this MTL 7 is because it's priced right. <laughs> 9,000 bucks. It's got bottom end grunt. You know what I'm saying? It's reliable. And uh, you can't go wrong with a Yamaha, man. You can't go wrong with Japanese bikes. That's why I tend to stick with Japanese motorcycles. I only own two Italian motorcycles. And I tell you, both of them I had problems with. That Ducati X Diablo S I had a problem with. Look at this. I go to use the front, the rear brake. Nothing. Look at that. Nothing. And the Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory. Had a problem with that. Oh, no. Come on. And I, all the Japanese bikes I've had, I've had zero. I had no problems with. I have a love-hate relationship with Ducati motorcycles, man. I'm telling you. I used to talk trash about Ducati motorcycles in the past. And I, you know, until I bought one. And then I, you know, I got a, that Ducati X Diablo S. And I tell you, that was a sick bike, man. I'm so sorry that I sold that. I tell you, it's not just about reliability. I tell you why I love Ducati motorcycles. Let's go for a ride. Oh. Subscribe today. Whatever motorcycle you're riding out here, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe so you don't have a real effed up day. And I have links to all of my gear, like this lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tint shield, my motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe. But links to all my gear is in the description and comment section. I'll tell you why I love Ducati motorcycles is because I love the company. I love what the company stands for. It's a small company. It, it, it's a company that is is made of motorcycle enthusiasts they build motorcycles be, for motorcycle riders they build them more special than any other type of motorcycles they build them with grunt all their bikes got some grunt to them they're beautiful they're, it, Ducati motorcycles are pretty much embody everything that a motorcycle rider wants the looks the grunt, the feel, the, the, the speed, the power, the it's got everything. It's got everything, man. Um, except for the price is very expensive, of course. But, and I, I tell you, I didn't really appreciate a Ducati motorcycle. Like I said, until I got that, Ducati, that 2016 Ducati X Diablo S back in 2017. And I tell you, man, it's, it's Ducati motorcycles have sold. I just can't explain it. Yeah! <laughs> oh! oh, man! You guys need to try owning one yourself or go rent one or whatever. But I'm telling you, man, they just make awesome motorcycles. But you got to have big pockets. <laughs> That's what I hate about them is because I'm too cheap for a Ducati. You know what I'm saying? The parts are so expensive. Uh, but I will say maintenance is actually getting cheaper on Ducatis because they have actually longer service intervals on their engines now. As where in the past you used to have to do it like, you know, a valve check after like two, three thousand miles. Now they can go as far as like, I think like 20, 20, 30,000 miles or something, you know. So you're, you're not having to get, uh, you know, expensive maintenance done that often on them. So they're better in that sense. They are more reliable than they used to be. Uh, but I'll say that it's just there's no other motorcycles like it. I mean yeah you got a Priya that are Italian that are awesome you know you got Envy Augusta motorcycles that are awesome that all the Italian bikes that really are but it's something about Ducati the name the the the, the beauty the power the it's just they just got style and pizzazz it's just it's beautiful you know what I'm saying even their dealerships are classy it's just it, it just it's a different level than the Japanese bikes I tell you if Japan hired some of the designers that Ducati has <laughs> and, and stop making these bikes look like robots the Japanese motorcycles they all look like robots even this MT-07 man <laughs> I don't know what Japan 
Japanese motorcycle companies have a fascination, not just their motorcycles, but their cars. They look like robots too, man. They just have a fascination with robots. I don't know what it is. But they, they make some of the ugliest motorcycles. Now, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But I'm going to tell you, I think if you, you got took a, a, a poll of all the riders, and I, I guarantee you that Japanese motorcycles are not going to be at the top of the list as being the, the, the prettier motorcycles, okay? Um, Har even Harley makes better looking motorcycles. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is about Japan, but if Japan made awesome looking motorcycles, beautiful, some of them are beautiful, don't get me wrong. But if Japan made beautiful bikes, guys, nobody would probably buy <laughs> Ducati or any of the European bikes. Everybody would only buy Japanese bikes, but you know, a lot of us are driven to buy a motorcycle by the looks of a motorcycle, which is really, once you throw a leg over the bike, the looks don't really matter anymore. It's all about the performance of a bike. I've been so tempted to buy a Ducati. I wanted, I was very close to buying a, a Ducati Street Fighter V4S for like $23,000 out the door. Very close. But then I said, you know, what? what is that bike going to give me that the MT-07 can't give me for city riding, for out here riding, cruising the streets and stuff. Yeah, the Street Fighter has got 200 horsepower and you can rip on it and, and fast as hell uh, blow this bike away. But you know what? How often are you going to use that power? I don't go on the highway very often. You know what I'm saying? I don't, to me, I've been there and done that with the speed thing, okay? I'm more about now about the grunt, the torque. You know, and, and, and the sound and everything and, and the comfortable being comfortable on a bike that's more important to me now than having the, the fastest bike so I, I just to me it's not worth it to spend you know 15,000 more double triple the cost of a bike to just be doing the same thing I'm doing right now just cruising and chilling man feeling that torque and I'm telling you this bike is beautiful and those those fast bikes they just get you into trouble man yep i'm in trouble Why do I have you on? i'm telling you, you end up getting a ticket you end up losing your license and getting a felony conviction or something because of speed in it just ain't worth it man it ain't worth it for what just a few seconds of thrill of, of speeding and you do that a lot it kind of gets old man to me it's all about just cruising and chilling that's why you see so many riders that seasoned riders have been riding for decades is they eventually go to a Harley. You know what I'm saying? They, they has a very torquey bike and chilling, just chilling out here like I'm doing, man. Enjoying the cruise. And they, they realize that that speed crap is stupid. It just, it, it you know, it, it ups your risk of getting killed or getting hurt bad and uh, insurance costs are very expensive. And you start to realize it's all about just cruising and chilling, man, out here on the street. But I'm gonna tell you this, guys. I'm also considering the Ducati Diablo V4. That is sick. Because I love that Ducati X Diablo so much. It was such a sick bike. I I'm so sorry I sold it. Um, I just was too cheap. I felt like if something went wrong with it out of warranty, that I didn't want to have to spend $5,000 to fix it or something, you know? That's the only reason I got rid of it. But I really shouldn't have gotten rid of it, man. Because I, with multiple bikes... I don't put a ton of miles on my bikes anyhow, so I should have kept it. I'm so sorry I did. But that new Diablo V4 is pretty sick, guys. That's pretty sick, man. It's beautiful in that red. The red and black is beautiful. It's got that V4 engine like the Panigales have. Uh, very grunty. It's got, oh, beautiful, beautiful, man. I'm telling you, I'm very, but to spend 25, 26, $30,000 out the door when I'm on my MT-07 here that cost me $9,000 <laughs> about $10,000 with mods and I'd be doing the same riding out here it really doesn't make sense guys it really doesn't to me in my opinion I don't think you should spend any more than $10,000 for a bike I think anything over $10,000 is a waste man but whatever what's good for you all that matters is what you want what makes you happy and I just want to see you guys riding out here on two wheels. That's all, man. And I, I appreciate all you guys out there.
leave a comment below and let me know what you love about Ducati or hate about Ducati or any of the European bikes, Italian bikes. Let's talk about it. That's why I do these videos to incite community discussion. Make sure to hit thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos release. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, catch you guys later. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.